Yeah, how you doing? Um, so I'm just waking up, right? And the crazy thing is that there's a lot of times I still have nightmares, you know? Um, right? And um, right? Right? And um, and like this same nightmare happens a lot, right? So, so, so what this nightmare is basically is that um, at the time that ah ha ah ha ah ha ah ha ha ha, we young and everything like that, whatever, right? Right? Um, um, the thing that basically um, okay. So it's not ah, 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 so it was running and everything, right? Um, but the thing that sort of used to happen a lot is that, um, okay, um, um, okay. I, I, I can't put this, okay. Um, I hate to use the word abuse, but the thing is that, you know, um, our parents wasn't the nicest parents, you know? Um, they physically abused us, basically, you know? Um, right? So, um, right? So, um, so this dream, basically, is, um, so, um, wait, wait, so, so this dream, basically, it took you with Makes me stutter and everything, right? But it happened in real life, right? And it used to happen like almost every day in my life, you know, like every single, like almost every single day, right? So, for example, if something happened or whatever, right? And if I couldn't explain myself, you know, my father would whoop me and he would beat me. He would beat me every single time. And I can't even explain myself, you know. And the hard part about that was it was super frustrating because, you know, um, I, I kind of wanted to get the words out, but I couldn't get the words out. But since I couldn't get the words out, he felt I was automatically guilty because I couldn't get the words out. And he didn't even ask for my side of the story. He didn't ask for anything. He just whooped me. And that's it. And there was a lot of times, basically, um, like, for example, um, if basically, basically, um, if something happened, whatever, right? I also had a family member, whatever. I am not going to say their name or anything like that, whatever. But, um, but I had a family member, whatever, and they sort of would say that I did it, and I had nothing to do with it. I mean, like, I would nowhere near the situation, nothing to do with it. But yet, when he comes home, whatever, what happens is that they will say I did it. And what will happen is I will be sitting there stuttering, like, I mean, because my stuttering was really bad back then so um so then how it happened was at basically at, at the time that I'm, I'm trying to get it out whatever my dad was very impatient so since he was impatient he would just bring a belt out board whatever he get his hands on and he just swing it at me basically um and this one dream is basically um right right Right. Um, so basically, how how this one dream ended up happening was basically, um, I think at the time I was like fifteen years old. I was fifteen years old, right? Um, and the place we stayed in was a place called well, it well the place we stayed in called a place. Place we stayed in it. Well, the place we stayed in 
Jag ska Okay. So the place you stayed in, it was called a Little Haiti, basically, right? And around this time, um, that part of Miami in Little Haiti, it, it was pretty bad. Um, and like at, at around the time, like it was one of the worst places in Miami that, that you could stay in. Um, yeah, but yeah, right. So what ended up happening was basically, um, um, I ha 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 on my little brother's hand, basically, right, right. And the thing that happened was I stepped on his hand by accident. Like I literally stepped on my little brother's hand by accident, right. He started screaming and crying. Like he started, oh my god, oh my god, like oh my god, you know, right. And mind you, I stepped on his hand by accident. Um. So then my dad comes and everything like that. Um, right? And my dad comes, right? Um, and then he sees my little brother crying. And then my little brother, basically, he, you know, so what happened it was basically the thing my little brother, he actually pointed at me. He pointed at me. My dad didn't ask what happened. He didn't say nothing. This is what he did. He grabbed me. He threw me inside his room closet, right? And he just started like, like, like basically, um, all right, so, so, so right, so, um, so, okay, so, so the thing he did basically, he, 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 he threw me in the room closet and he just started swinging on me. I'm, I mean, he would just like, like hit, like swinging on me. Um, and mind you, mind you, mind you, um, yeah, yeah, I had to look at my dad. My dad was like, I probably said, that my dad was probably like five nine, probably like five nine, five ten, or whatever. Five nine, five ten. Probably easily two hundred and thirty, forty pounds. Muscle, big at like big at the time, muscle. Not with muscle. You know, two forty, two two thirty, two forty at the time, right? Um so as he hit on me, right? I feel like I'm losing consciousness. Like I really feel like I'm losing consciousness. Um, so it got to the point. Um that I kind of, so I got to the point I kind of blanked out, and and I felt myself just running, like like I, I kind of squirmed out a little bit and I started running, 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 and then um I ran to the room, and the thing I was told, because I kind of blanked out and I was only the there, right, um so the thing I was told was I I I kept running, running, and I ran um. Basically, um, to, uh, no, so I kept running, whatever, and I ran to a room, whatever. Our room window was open, and they said that I just flew out the window. I just flew out the window, and I I, I just ran. So um, okay, yeah, so right. So mind you, um, that I I also did say that our neighborhood was horrible. I mean, people get murdered, drug dealing, everything, right? And um, and at the time, fourteen, fifteen, whatever. Um, I don't think I was, I was probably, wait, no, actually, actually, I was probably 13, 13, I was 13, I remember 13 years old, I was 13, I was 12 or 13 at that, um, yeah, so, um, so, um, so, I, yeah, so I was trying to come out the window, whatever, and I, I sort of ran around the, no, so I, I jumped on the window, whatever, and I just started running, middle of the night, running, just probably like 9, 10 o'clock at night. In a, in a bad neighborhood, bad neighborhood in Miami. I kept running, 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 running. And um, and in the dream, it just has me basically like going through that experience again. And I don't think people realize, like you know, like the type of things that people carry with them. You know, like for example, like what happened to me basically. Um. Like, right, um, I still have dreams about it. I still have dreams about the abuse. I still have dreams about the things I had to go through um, in school, basically. Um, how I got picked on in school, and then I go home, and then I get abused at home, and then I get picked on in school again, you know, and it usually gets to the point that I want it. To sort of, you know, I hate saying this, 
but some people don't want to admit it, you know, and everything like that. And that, but in high school, I got to the point that I wanted to commit suicide, you know. Um, it's a serious thing. Um, I've almost tried it a couple times in high school. Um, I'm glad I didn't do it. I'm so glad I didn't do it. But I was dealing with these things. And, um, and people don't understand, like, when a person stutters, and uh, there are certain things that we go through, and, and the crazy thing is that on top of our life experiences, on top, of, right, on top of the things that we have to deal with, basically on the daily, you know, there are other things that we come home to, and then we got to do with that. Like with me, you know, I was in school getting picked on like crazy, like people were picking on me, I mean, like, and I just can imagine nowadays, like, you have social media. You got people, they take pictures, art memes, everything. Oh my God, like, I, I, I would've went crazy, I don't know. Because on top of getting picked on, I literally had to, um, I, I had to go home and I got abused. And I, 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 I got beat and like, like, and, and like, you know, I'm not trying to make excuses, but like everybody, and my family got abused, basically. Like, like, like we all got beat and everything like that. But I felt like I kind of was getting beat for things that I didn't even do. But then at the same time, you know, you never let me explain. At least let me explain it. And if I'm wrong, okay, beat me. I understand. You know, I, I, I deserve the beating. Okay, I understand, you know. But... But not letting me actually get it out and and knowing that I stutter and knowing that I deal with this, you know, um, it was pretty hard, you know. Um it, it's pretty hard growing up. Everything and um but yeah. But yeah, but um but I just wanted to just share that with y'all, um, because I I, just, I, I mean I literally just woke up and um it, it was like like it was a nightmare. And it kept going, and I, and to be honest, I really, you know, like, and it happens, and I'm, and 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 I'm, and the sad thing is that I am thirty years old. I'm thirty years old. I still have these dreams, seven nightmares, um, so um, yeah, so yeah, so so basically, you know, um, yeah, man, it's a lot harder than a lot of people think it is, you know, but yeah, but. I just want to let y'all know that, but um, gotta get up, gotta hit the gym. I'm still doing my fasting too, so I'll holla at y'all.